Tally Hall's good. Clearly you're not ruler of everything pilt. It shows. Hello. I really like Severed Steel, but I couldn't get it finished yesterday, so I thought I would uh, boot up stream and play the rest now. There is a Nintendo Direct today at 5 p.m. ET. I'm going to double check the time, but I'm pretty confident it starts in less than an hour, like 48 minutes. So I figure I'm live. Uh, I'll watch it. And uh, if I got, I don't know how much more of Severed Steel. I think I'm on like one of the last levels. So if I don't finish it before the direct, I'll uh, finish it after the direct. But uh, 2 9 at 2 p.m. PT for the Nintendo Direct. For 40 minutes of information focused on Switch games launching in the first half of 2022. You don't have to watch me uh, watch it, but if you didn't know there's a direct today, there is. So I'll, it starts in about 46 minutes. I won't waste too much time before I just start playing the video game. And uh, just a reminder, 48 hours, roughly. I think it's more like 49 hours. Uh, before the plushie is no longer on the market. So if you want one of these, you got 48 hours. You've got 48 hours. You've got 48 hours. And there's your uh, reminder. So uh, I'll keep an eye on the clock. But anyone that I'm sure is also waiting, uh, don't be afraid to scream when it's, you know, five, ten minutes before the direct, just to make sure I don't go over time. But uh, I'll have a timer set for like, you know, like eight minutes in advance. So it shouldn't be an issue. I'm actually setting the timer now because I didn't think to do this earlier. Uh, timer. Set it for uh, 40 minutes. So if you don't know what Severed Steel is, I'll fill you in. Uh, this creator is not so subtly in love with Metroid Prime. Uh, the main character, I don't really have an image on hand. I guess I can show you the, uh, the Steam page for it. The main character is not on screen right now, unfortunately. Uh, looks like this. She uh, has blonde hair and an arm blaster and somewhat tight form clothing. Basically, uh, total badass type. But the actual gimmick of the game is you have a, a destruction tool. I don't know what her name is. She's, I'm sure she has a name. I don't know what it is. So you've got this little blaster. I might be on a level... No, it works. Yeah, this is the gimmick. I uh, think super hot, but with Minecraft TNT. So I'm on level 6, which I checked the achievements. It seems like this is the last chapter. Uh, I don't totally know how long the chapter itself will be. So, yeah. Gonna keep playing. And uh, any movement mechanic you can think of, this game basically has it. Air jumps, slides, wall runs. It's actually astoundingly well put together. The one downside is it's a, little, it's a little hard to tell where you're going. The depth perception can be a little wonky. Luckily, I'm a pro movement shooter gamer, so shouldn't be an issue. Let me know if I need to adjust the audio or if I lag or anything on screen. I didn't think about it until recently uh, that we might get information on the Mario movie during the direct. 
They might even drop a trailer. I don't know if the Mario... I don't think it's slated for early 2022. But... I mean... The loss of Smash trailers... Is a big blow for... Uh, the hype rottery. Which is a, a real word. Of their directs. I feel like throwing in some Mario movie info would go a long way. For uh, keeping buzz, that is. I mean, it's. I don't think it's going to be a short year for Nintendo in any way. They have plenty of good games planned, but yeah, it's hard to beat the uh, fighter roster releases. my opinion on toothpaste I have to talk myself into brushing my teeth every day I do it but I always like lay down first and have to have an internal conversation to get up I think it's good what toothpaste it doesn't matter a lot of doctors have kind of concluded Nine out of ten doctors, I would... You want me to put a number on it? Say the type of toothpaste doesn't really matter as long as you got toothpaste. And, like, I've tried the charcoal toothpaste. I've tried uh, different stuff. And I kind of get that feeling, too. Like, toothpaste is toothpaste. I floss like a motherfucker. I've gotten, like, six fillings. And... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get another at some point. And I fucking hate it. Biggest life hack you can ever uh, get is uh, like those, those floss picks that you don't have to wind yourself like actual floss. I run through those things like toothpicks. I don't actually have to fight. I just need to get through this wall. But to do that, I need to drain some energy. For my beamy beam. There we go. It doesn't matter what toothpaste you use. What matters is what toothbrush. You need to get one of those Daft Punk music playing toothbrushes. That cleans the gums way better. Kira Cat, I see ya. Uh, I'm holding off on talking about North Star in a video. Because one, it's still relatively fresh, so there's not that much custom content on it. I wouldn't mind giving it some time for that. Also, uh, I'm just, I'm saving it for like a, another movement shooters video. I, I wouldn't make a standalone Titanfall video just for North Star. I think it's great, and you know, it, fuck, it sucks what happened to the game, but I wouldn't have that much to say. There are also portals in this game. This game uh, switches its objectives constantly, so... I need to pay attention to what it means by uh, 30 incoming. Maybe I'll review Grush when I do the next Teeth Gaming. 
Maybe I can get sponsored for Teeth Gaming by, by a musical toothbrush company. What am I looking at? Yeah, I, I think I probably have two to three more levels to go. Uh, which I can plausibly get done before five o'clock. I play well. Do you think anyone's ever gotten banned from Twitch for brushing their teeth too sexually? It must have happened. Is that like an award I can win? I always wanted a first. Enter the portal. I didn't realize, but uh, yesterday when I was doing the Movement Shooter Tuesday, the official Twitter for Severed Steel tweeted out that I was live. So while I was crying about dying too much, there was probably a dev watching me. <laughs> Just thinking like, use the, use the gun, use this. So I'm gonna try and stay on my toes today. Will I be playing Elden Ring on release? Dude, I'm going to be playing it hours in advance in my head. I'm going to be preparing mentally to play it. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am. But recently there was an exploit for the, the Soul series that lets you uh, remotely uh, is so it like remotely input code or something or interface with the another person's computer online? It was basically just a really bad exploit on the Souls games and people were worried that it might actually uh, translate into Elden Rings. Because I guess they're on the same engine to some degree. I don't, I don't know about the validity of it working on Elden Rings. I do know for a fact that uh, there's some really nasty exploits in Dark Souls. And I'm hoping it does not affect Elden Ring. The Soul servers are still down. Shit, I didn't know that. Ah, that sucks. You know what's crazy is there are some, I would call them maybe gray or white hat, hat, white hat hackers in Dark Souls where they would make their own boss fights. And it was actually super amazing. That's like the cool type of hacking to me. Like you, you're, you're video gaming it. But uh, I don't think we're gonna be seeing much of that anymore in the future. I get the feeling there's gonna be a big crackdown if they even manage to fix it. Dying Light. You know, I've never played Dying Light 1. Uh, I've, I've heard word get around about 2. But, yeah, it just never hit my circles. I'd have to do my research before I could say anything. A less bright slow-mo effect. Man, I, this, there's a lot to reload in this area. Yeah, I was so used to expecting this arm cannon to not do damage that at pretty much every time I thought I was out of ammo, I had five ammo.
What is Blue Square? I renamed Weezer reference to Blue Square just because I thought it might, um, the joke might have more longevity if it's a little more subtle. Speaking of subtle, I was thinking of getting one of those stream overlays so every time someone redeems Blue Square, a, a giant blue square just is summoned on the stream. I don't have that right now. Or one of those overlays where every time you type an emote, it just pops up on the screen. So if you spam the white square, the blue square enough, it will completely block out the screen. Something I'm thinking about. I haven't done it yet. I didn't have time just because it's an early stream and I woke up at like uh, 12. But I may have that on Friday. Which I want to remind everyone. It's because I didn't say it till the end of the last stream. But on Friday, I'm planning on doing an SFM movie night. Since the Saxies are officially defunct and have been for years. I'm pulling the trigger and thinking, uh, Friday night, I'm just gonna like watch random good and bad SFMs. I might make a drinking game out of it. Drinking not necessary, but as an SFM user, I, I'm gonna need it. What's the best SoCal game? Three is the correct opinion. Um, I haven't played all of them, so I can't compare and contrast. I played uh, three, two, and six. I hear people talk up for on a personal bias, but no opinion. Outer Wilds or Outer Worlds? You know, it's a travesty. I still get those mixed up. Outer Wilds is the one where you go up in space and you kind of just get to freely fly around, right? And Outer Worlds is more like the planetary. I mean, they're both fucking planet exploration, right? Uh, I, I picked up Outer Wilds recently at the suggestion of a few friends who were really talking it up as like, uh, a critically underrated game. Uh, I'm only a few hours in, but I'm surprised I never tried it at any other point. Between the two, I would say Outer Wilds. The problem was they came out within like the same six month span. So everyone really crossed their wires on them. And I didn't think Outer Worlds was that uh, compelling. So Outer Wilds ended up getting super slept on by a lot of people. Give me. Yeah, I guess there's like six different phases. This must be considered like a boss fight. I can kind of cheese this. Yeah. And by cheese it, I mean play the game correctly. Grazie. Or, I guess, Arrivederci. What am I excited for in the direct? Um, I'm really hyped for Mario Odyssey DLC. I think this is the one.
Come on. Yeah, I just, I keep beelining that damage and it's not working. The Odyssey DLC was a joke, by the way. There's not a, it's been fucking six years. Three years. I, who, the world didn't even exist before 2020. You guys see the tweet from some random dude in like 2013? And all he said was that this Corona is up to something. And that's all they said. He warned us. I figure the more I clear out now, the less shooting me while I'm beating the objectives. Get out. Yeah, I keep seeing people talk about Silk Song for the direct. I haven't even finished Hollow Knight. But yeah, no, it's it's good to have dreams. And it's good to uh be taken down a peg when they don't happen. Someone made a pretty much fully functional, uh, it's like a Mario Odyssey inspired games on dreams where you just play like, I, I don't know what animal, like a fox or something. And it's made in the PlayStation's dreams, but it looks like an actual like triple A or at least well budgeted indie game. And it was it was pretty clearly like built off of Odyssey inspiration, but I was shocked at the amount of power they got out of the Dreams engine. Because up till now, I really everything made in Dreams looks like a Dreams game, but that thing does not. A little cat sailor, which just has me like forever mad that Dreams is PlayStation exclusive. I get it. You, you know, that's how they got the budget to make the game in the first place. But just if if Dreams was available on PC or just other consoles, the Switch could not handle it. But and I I think we'd be seeing it uh, more power getting drawn out of it. Unlock the second barrier. Yeah, this feels like a, a more fun Trepang to me. Because Trepang is just this game, but all on one axis. Like, no, no verticality. Bloody Overdrive in chat. You did level design for this game. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I'm I'm totally digging it. Is there a learning curve with dreams? Yeah, there's the learning curve with any creation program. But I'd argue it's one of the most simplified game making games.
did, did the dreams people make little big planet because I recall little big planet having a big level editing scene so I don't want to get my wires crossed but I think the same developer of dreams made LBP which would explain a lot for the creative engine The question is, how many years till someone makes TF2 in it? I don't know what Dream's capability of multiplayer is, is the thing. I've, I'm pretty sure it's a single player designed engine. It's my job. <laughs> that was my job uh, six years ago. Now I'm retired. I don't think they found a replacement. There was a comment on the last VOD on YouTube that said, uh, like, I hope the polymerization joke never dies. And that, that, that touched me emotionally. Because it really is some of my best work. Well, so much for shortcut. That was all my power, too. He was just on the way to the shitter, I guess. I mean, I think a lot of indies I like could take some pointers from this game. This is kind of what I envisioned uh, when I was playing Get to the Orange Door, and I felt like you have all these open areas, but you don't have any objectives. You just run to the door. It would be kind of cool to have to go hit all of the buttons. I just think collectathon stuff overlaps really well with uh, jumpy FPS games, and you don't see that combo often. Like, when, when have you ever seen a first-person collectathon? I can't name one. Doom? Yeah. That's the. It has collectathon elements, but that's not. You, I'm, I'm sure you understand the discrepancy there. Doom is a, a room clearing game that has collectibles. It's not an open area built around collecting objects. Plus you count like keys. But I meant more this stuff. The, the wall running, the double jumping, the, the movement and platforming elements to get to the collectibles. I think I just can't, I just got a new game for my next games I'd make video. FPS collectathon. Oh wait, shit. No, that's just Banjo Tooie. Never mind. Infinite, infinite shots. I got two achievements for that. This could be the end. <laughs> Does not feel like a final level, but. Yeah, it's okay, Frizzle. 
Fritzel. Slenderman would be a first person collectathon, but obviously that's not what I mean. And I hate that you are correct. How would it work? So, imagine a hat in time, but you don't see your character. And also you have a gun. So it's like that. I can't remember the name of it. I know there's an indie collectathon that has a gun. That is sort of hat and time styled. Wow, yeah, that's the end of it. Severed Steel. I won't lie, I kind of expected a big boss battle after they had the big robot thrown at me. But I can work with that. Because uh, we're about 17 minutes out from the direct. Okay, that was Severed Steel. And that's the full game, by the way. It took me four hours, four and a half hours total. Great game. You know, I'd recommend it. It does feel a little light in certain capacities. Uh, not even speaking art style or anything. Uh, like a couple of the levels just feel sort of bare they some of the levels feel like demos but they have the length of a full game i guess is what i'm trying to say i enjoyed it uh if it's on sale i'd get it i can't remember what the full price is it was like 20 like nine bucks or 24 either way oh uh, yeah congrats on completing the campaign you've unlocked the plasma grenade and firefight mode. There's a new game plus. Looks like they're working on a level editor, which is good. This is our main protagonist. Oh, her her hair is white. I thought it was blonde. Huh. Having some perspective issues. Wonder how long it would take for me to build two fort. All right, we got one base. We got two bases. Rusted metal. I don't know if they have a uh, like a wood I can work with. <laughs> I've got about 10 minutes to kill, so already seeing a couple of issues here. I'm trying to level it out right now. Oh wow, that kind of worked. I don't think I'm going to be able to make a base itself, but I can, I can make the outside of it, which is uh, the important part. It's fine. It's, uh, it's a half wheat, a halfy. Then, uh, gotta get the bases it's themselves. All right, the battle, I can build the battlements probably. If there's one thing I miss about the team's fortress, the sim streams, it's building random maps just for the sake of. All right, that feels a little too high for bats. 
be like right there. <laughs> you gotta admit, it's coming along so far, right? Trying to shorten this side. As someone who spends... Wait. A lot of time on videos what do i think of the critical versus dark viper drama i have no idea who the hell dark viper is and what that drama is i am completely out of the loop i don't, I don't generally concern myself with drama sometimes it just feels I, I don't know i'm not gonna speak on the subject Oftentimes, YouTube drama to me feels like creators trying to use the good graces of the public opinion. You know, just to... Just for the benefits of being on the right side. Like, I'm, someone definitely did something shitty. I just mean I don't get involved because I don't... care. Not sure what happened here, but uh, one of the bases is now floating. And I can't figure out how to get the correct material. As long as it works. This is, yeah, this is just a uh, TFC. <laughs> Subtracts vo voxels. That's what I need. Yeah, I'm trying to make this go, like, be sewers, but I can't make it go deeper. I don't know how to uh, extend the distance. Okay, well, how do I, like, test it? You know what I just realized? I bet you I can actually make the level bigger. And I just didn't think to do that. Level settings. I guess, no, I think this is like the biggest a map can be. Never mind. Oh, I could, so I can actually build, a, I bet you I can actually build a TF2 map in this. I just have to um, extend it really far. That is amazing. Wow, I can actually, shit, I can get a big level. <laughs> wow, this stream might end up longer than I planned it to be. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is a full fucking map. I can make Dust Bowl. There would be no point to it, but I could. That would be awesome. Like, I make a map and they add multiplayer two years later. So the thing is, the direct starts in about eight minutes. So I don't want to get too invested in this yet. There's not even water. But... <laughs> That's amazing.
What else, like, what else would work well? I mean, you could make any map work as long as you, uh, spot. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Put a sniper right here. We can't copy paste. Wait, copy object, left alt. You can. Who would win, red or blue? The AI could use a little bit of work. This looks nothing like the TF2 servers I play on. Minigun. <laughs> this just keeps getting better. I can get a machine gun turret. There's no way this developer doesn't play TF2. There is not a chance in hell. They didn't at least vaguely know what they were doing. We are T minus six minutes from the direct. Rotate object E. I don't know where the front of this thing is. <laughs> wow. Oh man. I don't- I wasn't planning on doing a long stream today, but I actually really want to try and, like, build a full-ass map. Uh, I'm just gonna watch the direct and feel it out. I mean, there is tomorrow. The thing is, by the time the direct's over, it'll be six? And I have to go at nine, so I would only have three hours to do anything. Which isn't... It's, it's a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and get my stream ready to um, watch the direct. I've already got it open on YouTube and I'm hoping um, there's no issues with that. So uh, give it a check here. So yeah, we are five minutes away. I am ready to watch it. So, uh, yeah. The plush will arrive in time for my birthday. Nice. I'm, well, thank you for the comments. I, I'm glad you wanted, you got one at all. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so just a reminder, the plushes ship. I believe it's like early May, late April. So it takes a, it ends in the, the campaign ends in two days. So it takes a, a couple months to get the production finalized, but yeah, just, uh, just so you know. I have to think about TF2 maps now. So I got five minutes. I'm going to uh, open a list of TF2 maps and think about what would uh, work well in an editor. Think fast, chuckle nuts, boom! Flashbang. So, preferably something very square. You know, like turbine, it could work. But this game has a lot of verticality. Granary? Ooh, granary could be fun. Hydro, uh, more like, uh, no. Powerhouse? Which one is Powerhouse? That's like the 
That's new Hydro, right? I'm trying to find one that has a lot of tall but square rectangular walls. Which is what makes me think granary. No, I like Hydro. It's just, I, it's too much work to build. It's not that I don't like the map. I forgot, they made bread space it, just an actual map. This is just an actual map now. Hey, we finally got the space map, at least. The group keep... Eh, it's, it's way too, uh... Not square. Banana Bay. I'm also trying to keep it iconic. You know, stuff like Vanguard would work, but... Who remembers Vanguard? Man, I feel like Granary would be good. The big map, though, admittedly. But, I like, you could totally play Granary, <laughs> like, a Severed Steel level. Uh, we're about two minutes off from the Direct. I've still got it on a tab, so I will hear it when it goes off. Mmm, Turbine. Turbine would be, like, I don't want to get overambitious. I want to start off with something simple. Turbine would be creatable, I think. I'll worry about this later. This is... I didn't even realize this was an option until, like, a minute ago. There's a way to turn off this little thing, right? Yeah. I think we're ready. So, uh, one minute away. I'm not playing a game. I don't have bingo. Uh, and actually, I'll get rid of the chat. On well, I think I just like make it a little smaller. I just don't want to block the screen too much. It's starting! It's starting. Audio check, audio check, audio check. Good. Let's get it out of the way early. It's better the they start world, than end. I will not allow it to perish with you. I seek to destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodland. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. I've never played a Fire Emblem game, so I have, I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real zero. Ones. Care. I know a bit about Hyrule Warriors, I guess. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? We shall fight! We shall survive! And we shall win a glorious future for Fodlan! But now that I know... So the Warriors thing is a series. It's not that it's like Hyrule Warriors, it's that there's... A, a bunch of different games with this... Revenge Horde is not mode. a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. Someone's happy about that. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Which that game apparently wasn't. The Orange Star Nation needs you. 
We've got more intel on the Advance Wars 1 plus 2 reboot Not campaign. the Orange Star. In the first campaign, Is that who keeps Advance calling my Wars, phone you'll advise at 3 a.m.? cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant I keep blocking battles. these guys. Each commanding officer is now voiced, bringing even more charm to these characters. You're gonna get So hurt. charming. I see right through your plans. Another full campaign awaits in Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. I for Rising. one am quite charmed right now. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities. Like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. In both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with additional modes. Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom it maps in the design room. It fascinates me that RTSs are still in local and online multiplayer. Irrelevant. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp marches onto the Nintendo Switch system April 8th. I don't know if that's an RTS. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo I just don't know the word is for those like grid-based games. Explore an infinite universe. I think you need an asterisk In at no the end of that sky, infinite. Every star is the light of a distant sun. You know what they Each say about infinite, you start seeing the same life. thing over and over. Travel to planets of your choosing in this infinite, procedurally generated universe. Here, you'll discover extraordinary lands and creatures that have never been seen before. I will say I've been playing No Man's be Sky in VR. It's for to fun. Survive, you must craft your own not tools bad. and even your own place to live. In this living and breathing universe, Trade convoys travel between stars. Factions vie for territory. Pirates hunt unwary travelers. And the authorities are ever this watchful. This seems uh, like a different Your journey game may in be some way. A different and actions have consequences. form factor. Trader. Fighter. Explorer. How will you live in this universe? No Man's Sky lands on Nintendo Switch well, this summer. It is just a port. Huh. Guess I haven't played it enough. It's just uh, traveling between planets in VR is that you have to hold the thruster the whole time. And it's a commitment. Uh, this was not on my bingo card, which I don't have. You know what this means, folks? More Daisy and Waluigi. Yeah. <laughs> Mario Strikers Battle League. <laughs> okay. Prepare for Strike, a five-on-five uh, sport like soccer that's way. That's cool and all, but when are we gonna get the next uh, all-star baseball? And passing to teammates. As well as by using tackles, what the items, fuck? you can't do that, and crushing special shots. The main rule in this sport this is, is to brutal. rule the field. Like they're almost they score more goals than your opponents. Almost like striking each other. There are two things to keep in mind that'll help you with your strategies. First, the gear you equip. It Make sure to bring some iron knuckles. But also your stats like speed, strength, and pass accuracy. Customize as you see fit. Second, I think, the I think you can strike. actually wear steel tip to activate gloves. this shot. Grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Hit the net and you'll score not one, but two goals. I didn't place the original strikers, but I did Up have my Mario players, sports four phase. players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. In addition to individual matches, or you can play, play online at 2 FPS. Club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So create your own up and to 18 of them will quit before the match you, ends or join an existing one owned by other players Try to become the world's top club With items Tackles 
and hyper strikes. Donkey Kong is in the goes winning. on this field. Mario Strikers Battle League launches on Nintendo Switch. I played a, a little soccer when I was younger. Today on Nintendo e so I'm not against this. I haven't the played tennis in a while. Mario Strikers series is coming to Nintendo Switch. The Mario Tennis. Final. We hope you're excited for this anything goes battle soccer game. Next, please take a look at this. What Nintendo game has rollback netcode? Probably something obscure. I, I can tell you which ones don't have rollback. This is the free ch the free space on my card. I've missed Splatoon 2. I played the hell out of that until uh, the end. I mean, not so much this mode, but it's something. new so so far what they're showing was in splatoon 2 but this was not they're adding boss fights to the pve which is good because uh, the original version was kind of missing up to ante This is Splatoon 3. It seems to be an extended version of the Splatoon 2 PV game mode. I feel like the composers got into a big heated argument before going to the recording studio. And they didn't solve their qualm before they started. Hey, buddy. Next wave. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The, the PvP music the is probably still funky. Game, the next wave of Salmon Run. A giant salmonid, one that's never been seen before, was also spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octolings ink or swim? Splatoon 3 will launch this summer. Ew. We hope you'll look forward to future updates. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch That's it? Lines. That's all they got? Man, Salmon Run is not the selling point of Splat 3 for me. But it's something. Mex, I'm already in. I'm sold. A full remake of the first Front Mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. Um, In this tactical I'm out. RPG, you'll pilot weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. You're so close. You were Gain so. The upper hand in battle I by was pulling out my credit card. Destroy. And then you showed me an isometric grid. Mix and match various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. Uh... Uncover the great storyline of this classic when Front Mission 1 like the way you said great. launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. And using the and new pay-to-earn system. Front Mission 2 Remake will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Get set for a high-octane Disney what, uh, Pixar what, the, what am I looking racer. at? From the creator did I change the channel? Did, did I sit on my remote? racing action across Disney and Pixar-inspired racetracks. Race as a legendary roster of characters on high-speed circuits, using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed, Sully for monstrous power, 
or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Perfect Use for Mickey the Mouse to force the, the other racers second. to sign a contract, Disney Speedstorm is a which obligates them to throw the game for you. Added regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. All Star Games really are like Plus, the new genre, right? Play, as well as split screen and online multiplayer Like modes. there was Battle Royale, there was um, races on some uh, class shooters, and now there's All Star Games. Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Unleash the power of the At Force least it's in not this Mario classic Star Kart Wars action again. adventure. All right. As Darth Vader's secret apprentice, you'll use devastating Force powers and lightsaber combos as you hunt down Jedi Masters on iconic planets. Upgrade I'm just never really like a Force Star Wars games guy. Repulse. I love the Lego ones. I know a couple people that go crazy combos. for... Uh, Use button controls Knights of the Old Republic. For like a controls couple of uh, from the original Wii version. There's a couple Star Wars with a friend to game fanatics. Who is the I know. Most powerful Jedi. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The complete saga of legendary assassin Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed games. I don't games. think I've ever heard his full name Explore just said out loud like Italy that. Italy and 16th century Constantinople. Interact with historical figures and discover secrets of the creed across three games, two bonus we short films, We got about 30 more minutes of direct. DLC. Maybe like Plus, 20, take advantage of enhanced 25. features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, an optimized on-screen display. Assassin's Creed the Optimized Ezio being 26 FPS average. Switch, February 17th. Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPG battles. Isn't there Strange a Gundam FPS being made? Occurring across the Gundam universe. Find out what's causing them it's and not restore this, the proper but timeline. You'll Gundams three are coming mobile back. Suits in battle. Enhance each suit with parts to improve their power. You can also battle alongside friends in online co-op multiplayer. SD Gundam Battle Alliance launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Yeah. Take it or leave it. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return. We need of some this more like RPG Godzilla classic. games. Just you're a giant a destroying a city. Of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Chrono Cross. One fateful day, the protagonist Surge wanders into an alternate world. Though it somewhat resembles his home world. He finds that he no longer exists here. How did I this can't. Happen? I didn't play what Chrono Cross, so I'm not sure if this is an upscale. Travel back and forth. Seems more like an upscale and not a remaster. Story. Over okay. 40 characters can join your party. It's this. Depending yeah, I played Chrono make, Trigger, but I uh, you and the endings that trigger never got here. A number of improvements have been made to this remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. In half. Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. Chrono Please Cross, use the, the Switch Radical as a Dreamers Walkman. edition. Please. Dashes Please. and flashes its way onto Nintendo Please. Switch April 7th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I mean, I gotta play Chrono Cross eventually. All right. Look at the screen if you actually are waiting for good news. <laughs> Kirby, no! Kirby, no! Or should I say... Kirby. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Unforgettable? That seems kind of mysterious world with an unusual um, mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Introducing Mouthful Mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. Or when it just doesn't fit. 
But you gotta make a do. Vending machine to attack with juice cans. Or become a piercing cone. Uh, this was not what I expected. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the I, I can already see the people are gonna make so many Enjoy drawings of Kirby moves, failing to eat abilities. things. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. As Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's, Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. Kirby's throat is blocked and is going to choke to death. At Waddle Dee's weapon shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. I dig it. They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. Some copy abilities Kirby's may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who it's just impossible to What are these enemies trying to Kirby. do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Gonna be hearing tweets that about that more for the next land. two months. Launching later next month. And I'm okay with it. Please look forward to its release. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch headlines. You will never get Air Ride. You might get a GameCube VC. Nintendo Direct will see you soon. Hello. Batter of Otani Shouhei. Pitcher of Otani Shouhei. Nintendo Switch. Today, the first time the MLB Show 2022 will be held. Shit, is that a JoJo reference? That's right, Otani son. MLB The Show is coming to Nintendo Switch. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty on your Nintendo Classic. Switch. But that's not all. You can even play Exhibition with a single Joy-Con controller. With cross progression, I mean, I won't you lie. can also earn You're looking for a authentic on baseball. Any platform where MLB The Show 22 is available. Good, but and take your progress on the go with you on Nintendo Switch. Have friends that play MLB The Show 22 online matches on other consoles? No need to Looks like they put a mic in you front of some dude on the street. Play online. <laughs> like, hey, uh, we need a voice. I'll give you 20 bucks. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. Uh, there's your answer to who it was. You're going to have your hands full of games with these collections. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. It was a hand with cloth. Here. From Kingdom Hearts to Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind DLC, every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played every while entry. connected to now the internet. People are going to need a dedicated Relive shelf for the Kingdom Hearts these collections. Heart adventures alongside Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, yeah, or Yeah, no, this wasn't mode. surprising. Kingdom Hearts Intergram Masterpiece for Cloud. Containing all three game collections, soars onto Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Each collection's cloud version will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. The word cloud just has a different meaning in my mind Klonoa than what I know it is. coming to Nintendo Switch. Across dreamy side-scrolling levels, you'll run, jump, and hover while firing wind bullets to grab and throw enemies. Use each level's surroundings to your advantage. Also, Klonoa 2 is included. Take on these great adventures when Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Looks Series like a Sonic launches fan on game. Nintendo Switch July 8th. I know it's not. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> what? Come here often. Either way, you're in <laughs> for a puzzling treat. <laughs> in these award-winning games, the portal gun is your key to survive. This is why they have the Geico commercial. This is why they were doing Create this. Portals and warp to other areas to find. I'm shocked cake. that uh, the source engine on Switch. You can pass through portals, it's real. And so can cubes, lasers, and robots with unnerving levels of personality. There's no excuse now. The sequel adds in local, online, 
and split screen multiplayer modes. And that part's no lie. And they have both. Neither this is, is Portal 2 as well. It's not just the first. Every move when Portal <laughs> Companion Collection warps wow. onto Nintendo Switch this I, year. There's a smile on my face. I did not expect a that. Classic comes alive. I want. I'd have to know more about that now. Like they must have made like a new branch of the Source Engine. What? <laughs> oh yeah, they have the Steam Deck. You know, it, they probably. They probably remade Portal for the Steam, or fixed it up for the Steam Deck. And then said, fuck it, you can have it too. Previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut, Live Alive. now in HD 2D. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory, a tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. Imperial China. My brain is still thinking about the last successor. one, honestly. Twilight of Edo Japan. The last uh, announcement. Shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, Never heard that story. a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant Never future, that story. a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. Never what heard that other story. stories are on the horizon? You will repay my loyalty in death! Live Alive launches on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Do you think they'll uh, add Half-Life Alex to Next the uh, is this. uh the cardboard? It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports I forgot what it was series. even called. The V the Switch Nintendo VR Switch Sports. Please take a look. Is, okay. Here are the sports included oh, in the Nintendo Oh, that is Switch not a me. Game. That is a that is a you Pixar. You might recognize these me. three from past Wii Sports games. They did it. Tennis. They killed off Rally the Wii system for good. The Joy-Con controller at the right time. All that's left are the Wii fighters. Bowling. Roll the ball straight ahead, or give it a little curve. I like the I like the quote. They yassified the Wii's. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. Plus. Three additional sports are joining the lineup. Can you, you can at least customize them, right? Soccer. Use a gigantic ball it to make it looks like plays. you can. Enjoy matches no, with that's joy their hairs are colored. To Never mind. Perform diving headers. Why is he T posing? By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motion. Just be careful. You might uh, fall. You might lean Badminton. to your left a little too hard if you do Control that. Control your shots left you and right over. while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but Set. she definitely said cock. And spike the ball. Volleyball. The I play game volleyball. supports local play with family and friends okay. on one Nintendo Not a bad Switch collection. system, as well as online play across all sports. Play against friends online, or opt for random matches. And the Joy Cons calibration the will win, actually be good. The tougher the players you'll face. Try taking on it's, I mean, it challenge. looks like it's a me. It still sort of has like the that? nose. Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay. Why not be as newly added sports? Big a deal Volleyball. if I can still make stupid looking Mr. stuff. Mr. Takahashi. Oh, hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. <laughs> Do you have your no, I spilled ready? wine on my work shirt. Yes, this course. is all I had in the car. I've got plenty of space around me as well. Yeah, you're in an infinite void. I'd all be right. shocked otherwise. Let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. <clears throat> all right. Oh, we're doing this? Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport to Nintendo this? Switch We're sports. doing this? What can we expect today from the top oh, yeah, no, it's me. team? Huh. 
I guess that's just the non-me faces. With Takahashi up front. We begin with Koizumi serving. How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. This is their lives. The air, They're just here comes the spike. constantly forced the to live in a void playing back. Wii Sports. Me Sports. And they score. Switch Sports. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. All right. Well, it's okay. It's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. The winner Takahashi gets to leave the void, but the loser Koizumi has to spikes, stay here forever. But it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. It's, this is a Not shadow game. They get the ball. And with a setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores. They got a point with that fierce spike. Woo. Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. I told you, I told you he gets to leave the void. That was an introduction. Take me with you. Switch sports. Please, I'm so lonely. The game launches April 29th. <laughs> We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play you get to the taste food again. In addition, we're also planning a second free update this fall that lets you enjoy golf. Enjoying golf? Wow. I really can do anything with the Switch. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. I have a request, let me out. like to ask for your help with this. The online playtest will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the dates shown on screen. For those of you interested, I mean, I have please one, but I wouldn't call it Nintendo active. Website for more details. Thank you. That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. He didn't leave the void. Get those Taiko drumming skills ready. I thought like the no his soul would be purified so he could leave Nintendo too, but no. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for Taiko drums, you'll strive to become a Taiko master along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing Into the Night. Lead with that. And that's not all. You can't just lead with that. The version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That lead with that? Why, why would you lead, lead with the Plus, Zelda one? Take Come advantage on. of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times as you'd like. New modes have also Can been I use added the Donkey Kong to enjoy. Put uh, on a live bongos. concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. Drum to your heart's content. When Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Plus, a paid in-game subscription service that gives you access more to over 500 songs will be available at launch. What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? The brand new tactical RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost here. Play the demo the for protagonist it. Sarah I wasn't Noah sold. And his allies will be engulfed in the conflict among three nations. Your choices Just and another Axis will determine uh, their fate. As turn based house will combat game. Like, yeah, swear an oath looks cool. All future lords shall be bound. I will never Visually turn it looks my cool. back on the promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter 3 will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Oh, Save I guess they the demo can be they knew people the didn't like the demo, so they're like, here's two more chapters. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead, the delicious last course. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle. I mean, I'll probably get it on, a bevy on of Steam, new bosses but with wild it's about time. And even wilder attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down fearsome foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, the delicious last course, wallops its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. A free update is coming to the Metroid Dread game. All it takes is one hit. 
even from this. Ooh. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. Can you face this new challenge? I mean, I haven't played and Metroid Dread. players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. <laughs> this free update There's launches a gamer later mode today. And then a uh, pleb mode. A second free update in April will add a boss rush mode. Are you mad about the hardcore mode? Continuously, one Don't at worry. a time. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. Bound, bound, Earth, bound, three. Well, one. That's got to be a confirmation, right? Like you don't, you don't start, you don't, you don't start counting and end at one. It's a, it's a, it's acknowledgement, and you know what? I can take it. This looks so quirky. The beginnings, they say in quotes. <laughs> uh, this is out of my realm of knowledge. Maybe it's about time to play Earthbound. Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online later today. I'd be lying if I didn't want to finally play Earthbound. Yeah, no, people... The third one was never officially released for, uh, like, the West translation. But, I mean... No, it, it might still not happen. Everyone play it so they'll be willing to fucking translate it finally. Getsu Fuma Den. I couldn't even finish reading it. This feels like the uh, ending. I'm guessing that Earthbound was what they considered the big finale. No Mario. No Mario. No Mario movie. There was the Strikers. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. So, We've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. Please take a look at this trailer. Zubbering, 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 zubbering. It's just nice to get new maps. Will be you have to pay to more Mario money for them. I'm... This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Everyone Course doesn't pack. need to buy it, right? Like, I can just host a lobby. Some courses from past Mario Kart games. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2023. <laughs> okay. Courses such as Coconut Mall. Uh, I don't like having to pay for more Chocolate maps, Mountain. but I mean, Mario Kart's fun. And Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. Of course, you, the right you price can play point. these courses locally and online. Yeah. 
The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Fast will launch March I just want 18th. like a sprite based out of out of place map. Like not Mario Kart 8 graphics. No just an actual cost. retro With map. With a Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Or purchase mm. the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. <laughs> Buy Mario Kart 8 again, but only half this time. How was that? I hope you're looking forward to the additional courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh. I need to cry. Fighting in order to live. And living to fight. Um, That's the way of our world. Ionios. Oh, a mech? All right, I'm sold. Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. Okay, never mind. I knew it. I saw this coming. You aren't. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try. Try to move forward again. How can I lie? Do you? I, I still haven't anymore. played the first. They're his few. Uh, sword master. Xenophobia. The Xenoblade. Man pierced by a great sword. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you soldier it all alone. What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock, it has to go. Uruboros abhor this world. Whenever they I see trailers for these games, I think they're gonna be fun, but I watch gameplay and it kind of tapers off. I'm not gonna complain. I think I could have fun, but. Eh. It's not the third. It's not the third. It's. It's the food. It's the food. That uh, red jacket looks familiar. And that spiky hair. September? Would September be early 2022? Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures there, um, of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles why? and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. That's it. No secret announcement. No trailer. Oh, I gotta be honest. That wasn't. Uh, there's not a big takeaway. Uh, they didn't even talk about <laughs> no Breath of the Wild, no Prime. Uh, still no, nothing Odyssey related or Mario main, but they probably are holding that off till after the movie. Damn. It's, I enjoyed, I was pleasantly surprised that Portal's making it to, uh, the Switch. I would have not, uh, anticipated that at all, but what else? Like, is there anything else that was of value from that? There was Mario Strikers. And uh, we got new a little bit of the Salmon Run news for Splat 3. And we got to see Kirby's new... I, I want to call it an ability, but it seems more like a, a, a failure to activate his ability. Like, <laughs> Kirby waddles on top of an uneaten object. And makes the most out of it. I'm not going to say like. Like out of 40 minutes. There was at least 5 minutes of. Oh that's pleasant news. But nothing that I'm walking away. Like holy shit. Can you believe it? So that's. You know that's unfortunate. But. Early 2022 direct. Yeah. I th I saw a couple people in chat saying like 
cringe bad direct resident sleeper i don't think it was like the worst direct there have been directs where nothing happened whatsoever there's no big announcement but we got to hear pseudo updates on stuff which uh i think i'm okay with it was yeah i'd call it mid personally i would call it a uh mid direct yeah, there's really... I don't have anything else to say. That was kind of it. IMO. Uh, glad I watched it, at least. Feel better seeing it live than uh, skipping it. Thanks for the raid at Lark. Uh, <laughs> I don't know at Lark, but uh, we were just talking about the direct. I think it was mid. If they had showed some splat pvp stuff i think it would have been a bit higher for me i didn't need breath of the wild i didn't need mario but i for me to, like if they had done if they went through with mother 3 and showed me some splat footage i would actually call this a somewhat memorable direct uh i like i love that portal is now accessible to some you know kids that don't have access to steam and they're not going to buy a steam deck but I, I don't plan on playing Steam again on Portal, on, on the Switch. Wow, I just had an aneurysm. I don't plan on playing Portal on the Switch, so... It's not really news for me. So I, I think I'm going to call it there, because I uh, have to go in about three hours to do something. But... Just for anyone who got here after I started the direct, I finished Severed Steel. It has a level editor, and I've learned it's actually very diverse. So I am really tempted to uh, try and build a, a TF2 map to like full completion in this game and properly populate it. So that's a minigun guy. There's snipers and a turret. It's just like, I'm having fun, and I, you'll probably see me stream this game again this week. Uh, Friday, I'm planning to do the movie night, but maybe you'll see me on Thursday, just when I get bored and want to do this. So yeah. But I'm going to call it now, because I don't plan on doing that tonight. If anything, I might build some stuff off stream and just show it later. So uh, yeah, thank you for opening my stream. I hope you got something out of the direct, even if it was just a little bite of news about something. Uh, that's it. I recommend you look into Severed Steel if you like movement shooters. It's a fun game. Uh, a little short, but not a big deal. And uh, two days left to get up. You have two days, you have two days, 48 hours, 48 hours to potentially get a plush. You don't need to, but if you want one, you got 48 hours. Afterwards, um, I can't confirm whether there will be another chance to get one. Uh, that's it. If you want a link, you can g check under the stream or go to my Twitter, and I have it linked there. I will see you on Friday and maybe tomorrow, uh, time pending, but I will... I'll set an event in my Discord so you know whenever I'm live. So yeah, thanks for coming by. Thanks for the raid, subs, talks, chats, lyrics, whatever. And I'll see you next stream. Bye-bye.